So now in this video, we're going to look at the end channel enhancement mode MOSFET, most specifically here the 2N7000. And it helps to get the lighting right on it to read it. We may be able to read it when I get the light like that. I can get a little closer. So there we go, 2N7000. If I zoom too much to uh, close up stuff, it goes uh, blurry. But in any case, that is a component. I got it out of the Joe Knows electronics semiconductor kit it comes in baggies that are labeled but uh, even with the uh, labeled baggie uh, I haven't had a problem with uh, brand new uh, components but you should also check the number on there in case maybe you put it back in the wrong bag you never know or even the uh, place that did it maybe they stuck it in the wrong one but in case we are going to just throw this in the transistor tester to make things easy it's an automatic tester there we go we got it locked down the pins are all in there so p the uh, left pin looking at the flat side is pin one middle pin two and then the pin to the right is three all we have to do is hit test and it does the uh, rest right there and we might as well zoom in while it is testing and there you can see we have a schematic diagram here and we have the pin layout so pin number one is the source pin number two is the gate and then pin number three is the drain and the drain we're gonna be making a switch circuit so the drain needs to be more positive than the source and as we can see there the drain is pin number three and so that's uh, the pin to the right when you're looking at the flat side we're gonna put that directly to an LED right there I actually don't want this uh, white jumper here at the uh, moment so I'm going to uh, remove it but now we have the drain more positive than the source and the power supply is off now I'm going to turn the power supply on and the LED is on technically it's not supposed to be on but there was still some charge at the gate that's what we know so I'm going to put this jumper to the negative rail we are safe right now because the other side of the connection no current's going to flow but the other side is negative and uh, but uh, that will turn the transistor off and keep it off now we're going to do something a little more risky so my bench power supply is set to limit current to I don't know maybe one amp or something so if I accidentally now it's at the positive rail if I accidentally short circuit you'll hear a click that's just the power supply all of a sudden having to provide more current but it can handle that other power supplies doing that might uh, damage them but in any case we got uh, positive here so be very careful of short circuits if the uh, power supply is definitely going to be damaged but there you see we give even a quick positive pulse generally you should hold it positive but uh, there you can see the transistor is conducting fully right now now let's go over here and give it a negative pulse again it goes off so let's look what happens if we put it backwards so the source more positive than the drain and this is not bad for the transistor but it's not the circuit we want there we go right now it's conducting and even if we give it a low signal to the gate it's going to keep conducting we we can't turn it off right now and so there's actually a circuit I'm working on where we take advantage of that. But uh, generally, you never, you never want that. So this is kind of a nice test. Whether you have it backwards if you're not sure of the uh, pin layout or whatnot. So there we go. Now we're back. And you can see it is off. And we got the uh, negative. The jumper to the negative. Let's move it to the positive. And uh, I went to the wrong pin there. There we go. And we got it there. So again, like I said, the risk of short circuit is uh, really high with this jumper and you wouldn't probably be moving a jumper like this in a practical circuit anyways. So we have a switch up here and uh, what we're going to do is take uh, this white jumper here which I just removed because I forgot to remove it earlier from my last attempt to film and we're going to go from the switch down there to the gate right there. And as you saw, the LED went instantly off the gate right now, coming to the switch, also to this resistor that goes to the negative rail. So this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. It can be a uh, 
quite high value resistor. Doesn't matter. It's going to the negative rail. It's holding it negative just as good really as the jumper right there holding it negative for the most part. We also have the switch there though. So now we're going to give it a direct connection to the positive rail. And so just like uh, with the jumper, it's a direct connection. So this resistance going to the positive rail, basic or the negative rail, basically means that if we give a direct connection from the positive rail, it's almost as if that doesn't exist. So whatever energy gets to the gate and also to the resistor, the resistor is hardly going to take any of the energy. It is all built up at the uh, transistor there. So, in any case, now it is off because it has a low signal. So that's the basics for a switch. Pretty simple. And so, to uh, add a little more detail, let's uh, pop that jumper back out again. And I'm going to turn the power supply off. Generally, when you make changes to circuits, it's good to uh, turn the power supply off. That's a good habit to get into. And uh, since I'm making videos, I uh, save time. But in any case, we'll turn it back on. Now you see that the LED is on a little bit. And so let's talk about that a little bit. No current goes uh, from the gate to anything else. Just a very brief moment, kind of like charging a little capacitor. So it builds up a charge. Might as well turn it off first. So it builds up a charge. So now the gate's going to go more negative. When I remove this, it holds that charge. The gate is still a little more negative than the uh, P channel is. And, uh, or the uh, N channel, I mean. So it is held negative, the gate. If we go here, it's kind of like a capacitor. And uh, we give it a positive pulse. Now the gate is held uh, a little more positive than the uh, N channel and so that's allowing a nice uh, conduction right there and so that's basically what it is. It's kind of like a capacitor so the charge can dissipate over time and uh, so it's not ideal to use it this way but that is one aspect of the component and so that is one reason why you would want a resistor there holding the voltage to whatever you want when you don't have a switch pressed it could also be holding it high and then you could go directly to ground until you press the uh, button to give a direct uh, connection to ground but uh, in any case you hold it to the position you want it in until you want to make a change so you hold it with the resistor and then give a direct connection from the other side of the power supply uh, practically none of the current goes through the component so you can give it a direct connection Remember, not all transistors can do that if uh, you're new to studying transistors. So, in any case, I'm working on more MOSFET circuits and diagrams and stuff. So, this is going to be kind of a quick uh, preview, and uh, hopefully, you still enjoyed though. So, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.